five. Smudge it out. Live will be good. Hey guys, so um, I just thought I'd uh, check in with you guys and let you know what's going on in my life because I haven't seen any of you in a while and um, yeah, missing everybody. So I um, just want to thank you all for my birthday wishes, really appreciate it, like I had a really good birthday, ended up uh, riding my motorbike, we was blessed with all that um, sunny weather, so uh, yeah, I got to ride my motorbike at the track and um, it had rained a little bit before, so the track was prime, had a few friends over and we did some exercising outside, and then um, yeah, also had a bit of a, a campfire later on and listened to some music and had a dance, so that was really good. Um, I learned something interesting on my birthday as well. I got the same birthday as Tony Robbins. I don't know if any of you know him, but um, he's an absolute legend. And also Brendan Bouchard, he's a, a legend as well, someone who I'm aspiring to um, be because he's helped millions and millions of people. Um, before I give you a little update on where I'm at with my business, it's been a bit of a, a tough month in February. It was nice to end it with my birthday celebrations. Um, like what's happened is we went for sea freight to try and make it cheaper for cheaper price for the customers and stuff and make it cheaper to get everyone um a decent product uh, a good price and it turns out sea freight they absolutely scrutinize you on the labels so um yeah we're just sorting that out now with customs and trading standards but it's been a bit messy and uh still haven't really got to the the finish line yet but we've been speaking to some nice people in trading standards and it seems like it's turned around a bit so uh hopefully get that sorted soon we're gonna to have to get the pallet over from the port over to us and then we've got to relabel it to make them happy with it and then um and then we can we can get it out to people but and then we get the bill and see see how big the bill will be for all the charges of rent and um everybody involved so yeah, that was um that was February, but like I said, I got to end it with my birthday and have a little dance and ride my bike and it feels like there's been a big shift now and then what with this uh, lockdown and stuff, everybody seems to be a little bit more hopeful and it seems like there's a bit of a light at the end of the tunnel, seems though we are possibly coming out of it. Um but yeah, so that's me telling you about my business. Now, um, a little bit more about my business, like some good news about it. Been getting some good reviews off people um, recently. Thank you, Alison, for your lovely review. That was amazing. Like when it's so nice when you help people, and um, you sort of forget how much you are helping people. But then when you read back on the reviews, it makes you feel a lot better. And then also it helps other people realize what the product does and how much they can actually help themselves which is amazing really because um we all know i can't say on the internet what the product actually does but um yeah if people leave good reviews it uh, like honest reviews it um shows people in the same position that these incurable diseases are not incurable at all um i was speaking to um one of my clients the other day and um she was like, oh, it's amazing what you're doing. You're saving people's lives. And I was like, wow, I never, never realized that. It just hit me. I was like, I never thought I'm actually saving people's lives. I was like, I know I'm stopping them getting surgeries and stopping, like, sorting their diseases out and stuff. But I never thought, yes, saving their life. So um, that was a big realization. It made me feel a lot happier about the whole situation. It's just funny how you can go through life with the blinkers on and you don't actually realize what you're doing and how many people you're actually impacting but um yeah it's nice to know um nice to think of it that way there's a i think it's Rumi said it is like know the power of your ripple and it's always hard to you never know how far your ripple's going to go but it's, it's nice when people um give you a bit of um appreciation and um bit of thanks but yeah saving lives that's amazing and enough people have saved my life enough times <laughs> probably a lot of people on here have saved my life enough times so about time i repaid it to everyone eh <laughs> but um 
yeah, I did a webinar last Friday as well, um, and that was for London Mind, Body, Spirit, and that had uh, had 55 people on it the whole way through. So I was really happy with that because um, normally if you're doing webinars and stuff, like people join and then they leave and then they join and then they leave. Well, that's what I've heard. But the two that I've done, people have stayed on for the whole webinar, which was um, really good. I was uh, happy with that. Like, obviously, this this stuff I'm sharing in the webinars, it's it's important, like how to heal your autoimmune conditions and digestive problems. Like now I've sorted my own out and I know what the what the formula is. That's what my mission is now in life, to get that out to as many people as possible because people need to know it, people are suffering, people are having operations that they don't need to have, people are on medications that are messing them up, people have got mental issues that are directly related to their digestive problems people are banging their head against the wall and not realizing that yeah it's not that hard to sort out it's just toxicities in the body and also um leaky gut and when you understand that and how to cleanse the toxicities out you can sort out diseases so yeah i'm just on a mission to get everybody and as many people to know about it as possible um i was reading a book the other day and it was saying just dream big dream really big because even no matter whatever you're aiming for, you need to be aiming well above that. So then at least if you don't make it to your stupidly high goals, you're going to at least achieve whatever you thought you would be able to, if that makes sense. So yeah, say you want um, 500 grand in the bank, aim for 5 million and you'll get to the 500 grand. Or say, for example, I want to help everyone in Europe. Why don't I aim to help everyone in the world? and um, try aim to help everyone in the world and then ultimately I'll reach all the people in Europe which was my original goal it's um I'm laughing because it's funny because um I dream quite big and I plan on helping a lot of people and you all pretty much know I'm not not your average bear so and the whole reason why I started this business was to just channel my energy and make it into helping people and turn what I had like as an illness into something good and um yeah I've always said mind over matter and now this business is my opportunity to show just how much I can bend reality and help people so uh yeah it was really good to learn to actually dream bigger and um hopefully that helps you guys as well just um dream really big and then your normal goals are going to be easily achievable like I said, it's it feels a bit embarrassing to say what your goals are because not many people talk about big goals, do they? Like it's not it's not your normal conversation that you have with with people. Like I know just being around your average average people and stuff, like I've got loads of good friends and family and stuff, but then when you mention that you want to help millions of people, everyone's a bit like yeah, it seems a bit strange, but um, yeah, dream big. All the people that have been successful say dream big. You might as well dream big. So um, yeah, that's that one ticked off the list. What else we've got to talk about? Um, oh, um, two days ago, um, I looked around like my whole life's getting so cluttered now. What We've been in the house all the time and like I only just ended up getting on the live now because <laughs> it took me about two hours to figure out how to get on it and um, didn't have the app on my phone and stuff. But um, what happened the day before yesterday, I um, I cleaned all my bathroom, cleaned my bedroom and stuff like that, cleared all the energy. And um, they say when you get rid of all the clutter and clear all the energy, it allows more energy to come in. And um, yeah, after having quite slow orders in January, I cleared all my room and like I said, um, dressed up a little bit smart. I started dressing up a little bit smarter in the daytime and then just got a lot of orders yesterday. So that was a little confirmation from the universe to let me know that, um, yeah, keep going, keep pushing and just keep everything cleared because um, I'm sure it's the same for you guys that are all working from home and stuff like everything just all the clutter I'm looking around, I've got loads of clutter around me at the moment, I need to do my office next, but um, yeah, hopefully that helps, like I've I've always been like that as soon as I read it, like if you've got any clothes that you haven't wore, well it doesn't really apply now, but I, I used to say if you haven't worn clothes in the, in the last year, get rid of them, 
But obviously, if you've got nice clothes, you probably haven't worn them in the last year because <laughs> we've all been in our living rooms every Friday night. That's why we're doing a Friday night live now <laughs> on Facebook because um, there isn't much going on. But yeah, like if you haven't used anything in the last, let's say, three years, just get rid of it. It's not You're not going to use it. And even if you are going to use it, it'll come back round. I've found that clear in my garage and everything. Like if there's, or just giving stuff away to charity, just keep that energy flowing. And the more, the more you give away and the more you just clear, it actually allows more stuff to come in. So um, yeah, I think that will help help some of you guys. And lastly, if anybody knows Dynamo, obviously we all know we're suffering with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. And um, well, I think it's Crohn's disease. It's the same thing. It's just labeled for inflammation anywhere in the body. But if anybody knows anybody that knows Dynamo, please get him to get in touch with me because I'd love to help him. Obviously, you don't want to charge him anything. I just love to get him better because the amount of people are like, oh, Dynamo's got Crohn's disease. And yeah, if anyone knows anyone, I know he's only from like the Manchester way on and stuff. And surely we know someone that knows him and we can get him sorted because it pains me whenever I see anybody that's got Crohn's disease or suffering because um, I know it's it, they don't have to be suffering. And um, yeah, Dynamo is a big one. If I could help him then just show that this incurable disease is curable with someone like Dynamo or someone like that, then we can actually um, get the message out there and help a hell of a lot more people. So if you know anyone that knows anyone that knows Dynamo, Let's get us in touch. We can do this. We're on the social media. We can all get together and make it happen. But um, I'm on live and I can't even see who's talking or whatever. But um, yeah, that's a little update for everyone. Thank you for the birthday wishes and keep smiling and have a wonderful weekend. Ciao.